There are many sides to TikTok, from true crime to dancing to cooking. And some TikTok pages are quirky, like Rosie Grant's, an intersection of baking and graveyards. It started out as an assignment for grad school, make a TikTok account from scratch. Rosie decided she was going to make the recipes people choose for their gravestones. And ended up there's a huge audience for uh, grave talk and cemetery TikTok. I came across this gravestone for Naomi Miller Dawson and it was, it's beautiful. It's like a, an open book and I tried it out. I posted it on TikTok and it kind of exploded in a very surprising way. <laughs> um, so then I found more and just kept doing it. Now, people send her family recipes etched in stone, and she gets to work in her kitchen. She's made 17 so far, and no matter what the recipe is, it gets people talking. Like a lot of the comments that I'll get is people just being like, what would I put on there? Like, it's just like, what's their food of choice? Like some people have been like mac and cheese. Other people have been like Taco Bell's Crunchwrap Supreme. It's endlessly fascinating. And like all the recipes have been very different. Like, it's not like, oh, everyone has like a cheesecake recipe. Like every single grave has been a little bit different from each other. It's so cool. <laughs> Even though gravestones seem like a morbid niche, Rosie's videos offer something sweet. It's like this insane, like the niche of cemetery TikTok and the niche of uh, like food and baking talk. The two things that we inevitably do in life is we eat food and then we die someday. And it's like this weird shared experience. So I feel like if anything, like that's been the most interesting comments to me of people either reflecting on like, this is how I want to be remembered. Even like, yeah, I'm, I'm now thinking about my grandparent and this is what they made every day. And like, whenever I make that, I think about them. I have like no language for how interesting and amazing it's been just to like watch how other people kind of connect with these topics. It's a recipe for honoring those who passed by bringing comfort and comfort food to those in the present.